day in the life. Let's go and get started. Good news earlier, bad news even earlier. I just want complete and utter visibility. This time Jim Sharp was this size doing this revenue and now we're here. But I think today was a real good sort of representation of how varied a day could be like. Today we are recording a day in the life video. Now we're at home at the moment, we're in my office, which we've got the original Gymshark screen right here, which I'm extremely proud of, and it's a good reminder to all of the hard work that we put in. I've also got the YouTube plaque up here, so thank you so much to everyone that subscribed. Super proud of that, and that's something that I didn't ever think would actually happen. So really excited to record this video, day in the life. Let's go and get started. Drive to work, normally try and leave no later than half seven. Gets me into the office usually before eight. So I've got a new role at Gymshark, slightly different. And that role is Chief Marketing Officer. And so yeah, jumped in and it's been incredible. I've never looked back really. It gives me a huge opportunity to be involved in like every facet of the business within reason. Another day at the office. First thing I think I like to do, I like to check the numbers. So I'll check yesterday's sales numbers, how we do month to date, quarter to date, all that sort of stuff. I normally do a scroll around on all the different Gymshot socials, have a quick read of my DMs if I have time as well, and then just check in on everyone, catch up on any Slack messages, emails I got overnight. And this is, look, check this, like, this is my new thing that I absolutely love. On my, on my little bar, I've got the time zones of uh, the three sort of main Gymshot offices. I really like that. My desk neighbour. You joined like the week before the Black Friday, which all went wrong. Yeah. You must have thought, what the hell have I got myself into? Yeah. I want to come across like a Buddhist monk that doesn't drink caffeine. No. <laughs> <laughs> Tough morning. Uh, and a yeah, puncture this morning. <laughs> Rushing into work. So obviously your outbound costs are going to be way lower for the unit. Next meetings with Mitch Retail. Planning some big, big events, so looking forward to that. Mitch should have a good update. The new running round. Yeah. Rather than working, pick our sort of our green list, which is this. Give it to product marketing. Yeah. If it does go well, there'll be more. Yeah. So my meeting in 15 minutes is the one that you can't come in. Okay. Say something. Sorry. This is the one that you can't come in. Just a final review of like that asset. So to be honest, it's more of a formality, but it's just I think it's good for everyone to be aligned on what they are and see what they look like. Everything looks really clean that I've seen so far. Oh, that's all good. Hey yeah, mate, nice black tax box. Harry. Bear with me, I'm just seeing how we are doing today. Reasonably well, I'm relatively happy. Um, so far so good, we're 20 past 10 in the morning. We have been in, checked all the numbers, had a few meetings with the uh, sort of like the directors and heads of all the marketing team, had some comms regarding our first quarter results. Had a retail meeting with Mitch, which went really well, really excited for that. We're looking at doing some really, really exciting stores and just doing something a little bit differently than what we've ever done before. Blackout assets, sat down and looked at them for the website and we did a little click frenzy review with Niran. So it's been an all right morning, it felt a bit stop start. I'm a big fan of momentum, I like it when you have a good meeting, a meeting that goes well, you're being productive and I feel like that snowballs really quickly. We're filming a day. Hear about the 14 Storm Penguin? No? No. Nope. Broke there, so didn't it? <laughs> <laughs> Hey, yeah. Here we go. Two chicken breasts, please. I wouldn't normally have chips, but yeah, the, the whole the stress of Black Friday is getting to me, so I'm comfy eating. Really good food, good chicken, good potato, good chips to be fair. Just comfort chips. They go mental over this, one touch, one bounce. It's literally like they go crazy. Look at them all. Why aren't you out there? Win, wouldn't I? Too easy. <laughs> Ruin it for everyone else. We finish lunch early. So we're going to go and chat to Chem about some numbers. In two words, good news or bad news? I think it's good. Cool. The reason being, I think it's good. Four. In two words, you see what I mean? Words. He does things like that, and that's why. <laughs> Say it again. One word, good. Good news or bad news? Good. 
news. Let's do work. I really like this. It's way better. It's like Steve says, good news earlier, bad news even earlier. I just want complete and utter visibility. I will meet you in that room in 15 minutes. So we're just about to go into the GTM Chiefs meeting. So we're the, the people that are obviously very much in action on a day-to-day -day in terms of building up the Gymshark community and growing the business. It's really important that we're, we're, we're in this meeting and we make time for it every week because this is where a lot of the key decisions are made. So yeah, no, I'm, I'm happy across the board. Yeah, from a cash point of view, again, next level of sophistication. Yeah, I think the PM's setting out that for exactly. Exactly. really simply. Yeah. Yeah. We're doing weekly meetings in marketing just to make sure that we're all aligned on what we're doing with the app. So you reckon you'd be able to get that together for next week? So, oh, because if you're downtown, you've got everything there. You've got delivery and whatnot. Paul's picked an office. Oh, it's downtown. So, obviously this is since lunch. So we had our lunch, lovely, ate and refuel. We had our GTM chief meeting, which went really well. That was two hours, that was quite a long meeting, but then had two sort of introductory meetings with two people that are joining the marketing team, which was really cool. What we just did in there was an app update. So this was just the specific people in marketing getting together to talk around the app, and then also just a plan going forward in terms of how that's gonna be managed. Next up, I'm gonna be sitting with Jem from the Insight and Data team, and then Raya, who works in the social content team is doing a presentation to an uh, old university, I think it is. So we're just doing a final run through. And then after that, we're going to head over to the LC and this. I know that our men's stock is really weak. The people are turning away from the friends. They like to I wonder if Black Friday is in Black Friday, I was going to say. We're on an upward trend. Yeah, yeah, look at the Black Friday trends. Yeah. Oh, oh <laughs> ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> hey, wow. wow. So a quick friendly oh, shrink. I love it. Oh, what more stats do you want? I don't want any stats. <laughs> Just use Google Trends from now on. <laughs> yeah, that is good. Yeah. Right, so hi everyone, my name is Raya. Well done, really well presented. You look very confident up there. First and foremost, yeah, I, I was waiting for you to ask the question about the ah. group chart, and I think that's actually really useful. Just the whole thing of getting people to put their yeah, hand up yeah. and going, yeah, I have, or no, I haven't. It's really interesting, and I'm just nosy, and I want to know how many people at your uni have heard of Gymshark, so you can tell me. <laughs> so there's a few slides which I think you could cut out. Yeah. And I think it might be worth you telling the story. You said when you joined when in 18, but I think you didn't mention the revenue that Gymshark was doing, so I think it would have been really cool for you to go, join 2018, at this time Gymshark was this size, doing this revenue, and now we're here, because you didn't, if you lay that down, then these numbers look a lot more impressive, mm -hmm. and you can tell the journey that you've been on. But I thought you were very comfortable. I thought the presentation looked brilliant. Finished the day, um, really cool day actually. It was, I think today was a real good sort of representation of what, or of how varied a day could be. Like I said, one minute we could be working on presentation, like we were with Rye at the end of the day, working on some, you know, quite intense insights, working with marketing on a more holistic overall view. Um, yeah, it's really cool. Like for me, I genuinely love, one of my favorite bits about the job that I do is the variety of things that I get to do. And the fact that literally, it's not even like no two days are the same. It's like literally within a couple of hours, you can go from, like I said, the most intense, insane quantitative side of things to how do we get more viral posts on social media. And like I think I mentioned, I feel like I've got the best job in the world. So now we're gonna fly over to the lifting club. We're gonna meet Ollie over there. Come on then, we're running late. I track all my workouts on this app. So Robin made me a program, which I run here. Long way to go with this app. We've got a lot of improvements to do to it. We're really happy with it at the moment. Session done, happy. Uh, now, Robin is meeting us here, and we're gonna go and get a Nando's for our tea tonight. Um, finish up the day there. To be fair, I wouldn't normally get a Nando's in the evening. We'd, me and Robin would normally eat at home together. But seeing as Perry is in a long day's graft, 
thought we'd treat him to a Nando's, so. I want to say how long days Grafter mean he's had to <laughs> deal with following me around for an entire day. But. Come on then, Robin, where are you? It's been a good day. Robin has met us in Nando's, so we're going to have a nice Nando's together for our tea. And yeah, just finish off the day nicely. So I thought it was nice to have Robin in it as well, because obviously we'd normally eat our food at home of an evening, wouldn't we? But I thought it'd be nice tonight to come and get a Nando's. As always, thank you so much for watching and thank you so much for supporting Jim Shah as we continue to grow.